For our discussion for now, it's about civil engineering in society and other professions. What is an engineer? Engineers are problem solvers. Engineering is concerned with the implementation of a solution to a practical problem. While a scientist may ask why and proceed to research the answer to the question, by contrast, engineers want to know how to solve a problem and how to implement the solution. Now you can see the difference. In other words, scientists investigate phenomena whereas engineers create solutions to problems or improve upon existing solutions. A scientist builds in order to learn, while an engineer learns in order to build. What is civil engineering? Civil engineering is the oldest and quintessential engineering profession. It encompasses a variety of sub-disciplines and jobs. Professional engineers should work for the welfare of the public. They are responsible for observing societal needs and often have the position and resources to improve society. As professionals, engineers are expected to set examples in the work field and establish themselves as assets to society. What is a profession? Now we have to understand that knowledge requires formal education, judgment, and discretion that are not routine and cannot be mechanized. Continuing education is required. While an organization, um, it sets standards for admission to profession in it enforces standards of conduct, establishes codes of ethics, while in public good uh, is the purpose of service and preservation of public welfare. So all three of these knowledge organization and public good should encompass um, for the profession that you are in. And as a civil engineer, you should uh, always consider knowledge organization and public good. What do engineers need to know? First, a global vision and approach to problem identification and problem solving in areas such as infrastructure, environment, facilities, and systems. Second, a basic management knowledge base in areas such as business, resources, personal management, communication skills, costs and value judgments, and time management. Third, a solid foundation in personal and interpersonal attributes ethics. Fourth, an involvement with engineering practice as the formal education evolves. Here um, is the list of the desired attributes of an engineering graduate. Good communication skills, higher ethical standards, ability to think critically and creatively, independently and cooperatively, Flexibility, grasp of engineering science fundamentals such as math, statistics, physics, and life sciences, information technologies. Good understanding of design and manufacturing processes. Basic understanding of the context in which engineering is practiced, economics, history, environment, customer, and societal needs. Process, possess a multidisciplinary system perspective. Here is the list of skills in order of importance in your career, writing, engineering, business or financial, personal interaction, computer. So even if you are a civil engineer, um, you should also possess skills in writing, business or financial, personal interaction, and computer aside from what you have learned in, the engineer, in your engineering course. Because in writing, for whatever documents your projects may involve, then you are liable of doing it or it's not liable you are obliged in doing it in a correct way business or financial or whatever project that you are involved with then you should learn um, some business or financial um, terms phrase processes in order for you to understand the um, flow of the finance Personal interaction, especially if you are dealing with your um, team, like laborers or the people that you are working with in the project, then you should um, have a good personal interaction so that you can um, 
gain a better result at the end, every end of the day or at the end of the project. Computer, yes, it is very important, starting from drawing or for whatever documents. Uh, you always need computer to make the work easier and faster. So that is all for now in our discussion for civil engineering society and other professions. Um, check on our next topics.